welcome to another session of uh, big iptltm training in this class we will cover like ltm traffic processing so this is very important to understand how ltm takes the traffic from the client and how then it transfer to your end server before we cover it we will first understand like this big ip ltm we also call it reverse proxy uh now most of you know what is proxy like what is uh like the proxy which we have worked upon on on premises like if i talk about blue coat so uh, we call them forward proxy so in this forward proxy scenario so you will you will have a client so it, this client is in your company it it is having like this ip and like its connection is connected to a switch then that switch is connected to a router and somewhere it it is again connected to a switch then we have like a proxy server and this proxy ultimately so this is your internet and here is your like destination server any xyz.com so in normal proxy scenarios we set on this machine that if this machine has to access any web service it has to connect via the proxy so you so when from this machine anyone tries to connect to any web service its connection ultimately goes to first proxy and whether this machine can access that url or it cannot access that url that depends upon what kind of rules you have configured on proxy right but ultimately if i talk about the flow so then this proxy forward the traffic towards the this destination and on reverse itself the when the reply will come the the connection will first come to proxy this way and then proxy send this traffic to your client so this is how the flow works in the forward proxy and if so in forward proxy sometimes we are asked in the interviews like what is the difference between forward proxy and reverse proxy right so this forward proxy is this is how it functions and we always say your forward proxy is nearby where is your client who is trying to access the web service so this forward proxy is nearby your client and let's see this i told earlier so this your f5 is what we called as reverse proxy so this reverse proxy we have a client here and this client will send its traffic to a virtual ip a web ip and this web ip is what this big ip f5 is proxying for and then this for this like client request it then do the load balancing and send that traffic to the internal servers for for this client it it will like uh, understand that he is getting the reply from the this ip which actually belongs to f5 but this client doesn't know like these this actual server is behind the f5 device if you can see this reverse proxy is actually nearby the end servers okay it's not nearby the client so in this lab diagram only you will see they are directly connected but in real scenarios you know your your client will come via the internet and then it it hits your big ip f5 and then big ip will uh, send the traffic to an internal server so this is your reverse proxy so now you know the key distinction between these forward proxy and reverse proxy your reverse proxy sits nearby your uh, your end servers there is one more term that is associated with the f5 that we call like we call f5 they are full proxy 
itself. Now this is very important, guys. What is what do I mean by a full proxy server? In this lab diagram, I have four internal servers, and these are running on service 80. All of these are running on on service 80, and this is our external client. Right, I have created a VIP and I have given it at IP this one. And with this VIP, I have then created a pool that contains all these internal servers. So this, so all these servers are in a single pool. And this single entity, we call it as pool member. If you remember from last class, we call it as pool member because it is your server IP plus the service. Only server IP we, we consider it as a node, right? So I created a pool and this pool contains these four pool members and this pool I have associated with this web. So now from outside this client uh, in this lab diagram it has ip in this range itself i think i have given it dot 50 ip and if if i try to access uh if i open the browser and if i type http double colon slash slash and then if i type the vip ip 172.16.1.10 so what will happen is so this this is http it used tcp protocol right so it will send the sin packet so your this sin packet your actual f5 will respond to it as f5 will respond with the second packet which is synac so first is sin and then this is synac and third we will receive from the client ACK. so once the tcp handshake com it gets completed between your client and f5 device then it see uh, it see the load balancing mechanism like according to the look load balancing mechanism that we set on the pool itself like because this client is hitting this uh, this VIP IP, right? So this with this VIP IP, the associated pool is uh, this this pool, and we'll see what is the load balancing mechanism. For an example, the load balancing mechanism is round robin, and this is the first request that I'm receiving. So this F5 know that it has to send the traffic to the first server. So now what will happen is after the tcp handshake gets complete this is the first step then the second step is choose pool member choose pool member means after the load balancing mechanism choose to which n server this f5 will send this request after choosing the pool member then the third step is this f5 will do the tcp handshake between uh, like this F5 and this the chosen uh, end server so it will send the sin uh, to this server and the server will reply with synac synac and then your F5 would send the ACK so if you see in this communication so your F5 breaks this TCP handshake. Okay, so we we see two TCP handshake. So one between client and the F5, and second is between the F5 and the end server. So it takes, so it it acts in the like a middle device, and it it uh, like breaks the TCP handshake. Like it it happens this way. So this is the reason why this is called as full proxy server. So this is very important to understand guys.